Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another unboxing video on my channel. So we have a package again here from DK Beauty. We're going to go through all of the contents that are in it and I'm going to show you exactly what comes to mind when I see the product and show you how I would use it. So let's dive in so I can get started showing you some really cool things that they carry. I'm always so excited to see what is in these boxes. They're usually curated for like the season and some different items that I have never really played around with before. Uh, so first up we have this Accents Art Brush. This is the number five brush and it has a really good round head on it for applying potted gels, which you guys will see in the background here is a lot of things that are in this particular package. I'm going to prep this brush so that it is ready to go for when I need to use it. And to do that, you wanna take out the hardness that's initially in the brush and then go in with some gel on like a dry wipe and just rub a clear gel through the bristles. This will help when you're moving on to your next step of actually working with the gels that you guys are going to see in this video. Next I have a sample here of the Accents Matte Top Coat. I have been wanting to try out some different matte top coats to see how they work with the different nail art that I like to do. Uh, so this one I'm really looking forward to trying because I do really like the shiny top coat from Accents. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit thicker uh, than some of the other ones that I have used but you will see it more throughout this video. Next I have a bunch of potted gels here and then some loose glitter too. We're going to go through each one of these and I'm going to show you not only what they look like but how to use them. So that first shifter color, we're going to come back to it right away here. Uh, but first I want to show you, they, it is a blue based pink and it's got like a super super fine like shimmer pearl to it. It is really really pretty. If you're going to do this in like a full nail, you're going to need two coats with it for sure. Uh, but you guys know I love working with colors that are a little bit see-through like this because I think they're just so perfect for different nail art as well as for marbling uh, but for this one here I did go in with two coats and then a top coat because I wanted you guys to see just what the shade looked like the next one to go through here is this pink glass gel. Now, you guys might not know this about me, maybe you do, but I love glass gels. I think they are so fun, they are so versatile. Uh, in my workshops, we dive a lot more into using glass gels, but for this little part here, I'm going to just put this color down because I wanted to see how opaque it was. And then I did want to take that pink cove shifter that we pulled out of this package a little bit ago and put that on top after the glass gel has cured. These shifter gels are really, really cool. Again, we're gonna dive into a couple more ways to use them throughout the video. This pink cove shifter has like a white base to it, like an iridescent white base, and then the actual shifter color of it shifts from pink to purple. Uh, these look really cool over the colors that kind of match their base, but we are going to use it over black very soon here. So we're going to take uh, just your favorite black gel. I've been really, really liking these operated ones lately, uh, not only for like a full coverage like this, but for nail art. So after that's cured, I'm going to go in with the different shifter colors here and I don't want to say marble them more so just kind of paint them on but if they overlap in color I'm not too concerned about it because it just kind of looks like a blended look and then after I have the color down and before I cure it I'm gonna take a dotting tool and I'm just gonna kind of remove some of the product now this was kind of my first time I think I can say that doing this technique uh, so I learned a lot about how I would do this a little bit differently but I just kind of wanted to show you guys initially what it looks like here uh, so if you are going down with your product like I am here and then you go back up, if it's not pulling all of that product up and you can see the black, it just means you need to wipe off your dotting tool and try again. Now I had to go through and do this a couple of times just to make it so that you could actually see the black line that we were doing. Uh, but this technique is really cool and something that I definitely want to play around with a little bit more. I did encapsulate it with a clear builder because it is, if you don't and you just go in with a top coat, you're going to have like a dip in it. Uh, so after I do the clear builder, cure it, then I'm going to go in with my top coat just so it's a nice even coat for this particular design. The next color that I pull out is this one that is called Snazzy Blue and I was really looking forward to seeing what this one looked like because I was hoping it would be something that would work good for mermaid nails and spoiler it is after I gave it a good stir here uh, you can see a lot of that really pretty shimmery pigment coming up. This is such a beautiful blue color. Initially I wanted to do two coats down and then just show you guys what the shade looks like but I'm also going to demo here a really cool way to use it to create like this mermaid effect. So we're going to take a couple different shades. I want to use Accents Koi which is probably featured in many videos lately. It is quickly becoming a 
big staple in my collection here. Uh, but it is a milky white gel polish. And then I have this Coco and Claire gel polish here that I just initially put down. And I am going to marble all of these three colors together. I'm initially just going to use this Accents art brush, but then I end up going in with like a fine brush here uh, just to make it a little bit more marbled. And also I'm going to have a marbled workshop coming up very soon. So make sure you guys are on my email list because it is going to be really fun. And we're going to show you some really cool ways to marble different products, kind of similar to this. We're going to dive a little bit more into marbling our colors here. But after you have the colors down how you want them, we're going to cure that and then you're going to bring it out and we're going to add some really cool flakes to it. These are the Coco and Claire Millie flakes and I like these because they have like a blue and green iridescent look to them. So they work great for ocean nails or marble nails, uh, mermaid nails, anything like that. So we are going to go in and we're going to top coat. I'm going to test out the gel bottle matte top coat here. You guys know I prefer to stamp on top of a matte surface, but what I look for in a matte top coat is something that is not going to take away the sparkle from the products that I work underneath. Uh, so I thought this would be a perfect design to test that out with. I'm going to use this stamping plate. Uh, which is actually a lace plate, but I use it all the time for mermaid nails. It is my favorite like mermaid scale look here. Uh, so stamp that down in white and this is how the design turns out. I'm really happy with the gel bottle matte top coat. It is exactly what I look for uh, for an art matte top coat. So the next items in the box were a couple of Luxio gel polishes. The first one up here, we have this beautiful yellow, yellow shade. Uh, it is like a buttercream yellow. I definitely wanted to test this out and see how it looks with two coats. Each time I go to work with the Luxio gel polishes, I just really enjoy them even more and more. I put them down and sometimes I think on the first coat, oh, that kind of looks a little streaky, but then it almost like melts into itself and evens itself out. I'm just really, really enjoying that I don't have to build up too much bulk with them. Uh, so this is the Accents matte top coat on top of that yellow. I wanted to test this one out as well. Now it's a little thicker than what I prefer to work with and it also uh, does not cure tack free, which is okay but it kind of confused me at first when I pulled it out of the light and I was like wow that is still super shiny uh, but I really like working with these yellow buttercream colors with lace for springtime so I wanted to show you guys that and then I also wanted to use the matte top coat again over top of stamping because I know a lot of you have commented that sometimes your top coats pits over top of stamping so I wanted to test this one out uh, so far I think it's okay but if it does start to pit like that you can just kind of put your coat on a little bit thicker or do it in two coats and then I find it works okay, but I didn't have issues initially using it here. These Coco and Claire sprinkle glitters, loose glitters, were the last thing in that little baggie here. And I really like loose glitters like this that have different sizes, but the same color of loose glitter in them. I find them so fun to work with. And I like to pair them either with like an iridescent base or a base that matches the color. So I'm gonna take uh, the yellow that's in the package here, and then I'm also gonna go over top of it with this Luminous Accents Gel Polish color it is just like a sheer gel polish that you can put over top of any color to kind of give it like a sheer or like an iridescent look to it uh, but before I cure that I'm just gonna take a little bit of the glitters and kind of do like an angle of the loose glitters on top of it I really wanted to see what this would look like like with yellow on yellow and we do this again too so you can see how it looks on like this lighter yellow color as well as on a brighter yellow because these glitters are just so fun and I know they come in multiple different colors too now whenever I work with loose glitters I always encapsulate them I just find that generally loose glitters are going to need a little bit of shaping with them we also do a lot of loose glitter work in all of my different workshops too I think it's just such a fun medium to work with uh, so after that's cured I'm gonna remove the dispersion layer and then I'm going to take my e-file and just smooth everything out like I am barely touching the nail with my e-file here it is just to kind of finish it and make sure that it is nice and smooth uh, the Coco and Claire glass builder gel that I use there it is nice and thin so I, I find that it doesn't need like too much filing I'm gonna remove the dust and then I'm gonna go in with my top coat here
I wanted to see what those loose glitters were going to look like over top of a brighter yellow too. So I decided to take uh, this one which is called Cabana and it is a newer release to Accents. I love this shade. I think it is just such a fun yellow and I think it's going to be a great transition color from summer to fall as well because it kind of looks like a burnt bright yellow. Anyway, we're going to do the exact same thing. Here that one, then go in with that luminous color again. But this time we're going to put the glitters all over the entire nail. And then after we encapsulate and do our finish filing, I want to test out that gel bottle color again, that gel bottle matte top coat, because what I look for in a matte top coat when I'm working with art, say like with loose glitters and stuff, is because I prefer to stamp on top of a matte surface a lot of times, I need a matte top coat that is not going to make my glitters underneath like lose their sparkle. A lot of matte top coats do. Now with this nail being finished filed, I could go in and do my art on top of it. I don't think I would need to go in with a matte top coat, but an example of where I would put a matte top coat instead of just going in with my art as if I was working with art inks because they will just, you'll see like the file grooves through it. So a lot of times I'll go in with a matte top coat just to kind of smooth everything over before I go do some art. And I can see immediately as I'm applying the gel bottle matte top coat here that all those glitters are coming back to like their true life. So I know that this is definitely gonna work, this uh, matte gel top coat, and I'm excited to use it a bit more. We have another beautiful color from Luxio. This one is called Movement and it is a coral, but it is a pink based coral. A lot of corals can either lean like a little bit more orange or a little bit more pink. And this one is just such a stunning pink one. So perfect for spring. So I'm going to go in and just do one coat of it. And then I wanted to use uh, this shifter color on top of it. I was just kind of curious, like, is it going to pull the pinks that are in here? I can see that it has uh, some pink and some green shifting going on. So what color is it going to pull when I put it over top of that coral? I know that I'm just gonna have way too much fun playing around with these shifting colors There's a lot of versatility to them and any of these type of like shifter colors that I've used um, They are a little bit more runnier than say these ones from accents because these ones are like a potted gel They're a little bit thicker So I think there's gonna be some different ways that we can use these for like unique nail art too It looks so pretty over top of this coral shade though the last baggie in here has two gel bottle products in it. It has a mint gel polish and then it also has the matte top coat that I've been talking about throughout this video. It's the cutest little square bottle. I just love this little sample size and it's such a great way to kind of play around with these different products too. Uh, so this is what the mint shade looks like from the gel bottle and it has a really nice application to it too. And here is a closer look at the matte top coat too. It has a nice thin viscosity when I'm applying it, which is my ideal preference for working with matte top coats. And I say that because I work with uh, matte top coats a lot, mainly for art. There's a lot I look for in a good matte top coat. So I use them a little bit differently depending on what I need it for when it comes to art. But in this case, generally for the most part, I love matte top coats that are a thin viscosity and cure tack free. It works a lot better that way for me for the different artwork that I do. I wanted to play around with some different artwork on this nail on top of the mat as well. So I initially went in with uh, the Opry like French white gel polish and did some polka dots and literally as I was putting the polka dot nail into the little lamp I was thinking Talia you should have sugared those uh, so I wouldn't have normally cured it and then gone in with a second coat to do some sugaring but I really wanted to see what this nail looked like sugared over top of it uh, so I did go in and do some more dots on top of those dots but that wouldn't be necessary if you thought of that ahead of time and then I decided to take some of the Coco and Claire nail sugar powder I really like this for creating like a glittery sugar look. I like that these glitters are super, super fine. They work really, really good for sugaring if you want a little bit of sparkle to them as well. So this is how the polka dot nail turned out. I am just loving that matte base. I think it looks so cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I wanted to do it a little bit differently this time because I wanted to walk you through all of the individual products and how I would use them if I was to design different nail sets. A lot of times I will look at colors and I will immediately get an idea, okay, that would work great for mermaid nails or that would work great for lace or or, uh, polka dots and so I thought that this video would help you get a better idea of what I look for in the products that I use so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video I hope that you enjoyed it if there's any other products that you want me to kind of feature a little bit more definitely comment below and let me know because DK Beauty Carry is so many really good ones and I want to be featuring some different products that you guys work with in your studio too see you guys in the next one bye